A Windsor couple is disappointed that their beloved bird feeder had been ordered removed after complaints came in that they were making too much mess. As CTV's Chris Campbell reports, it turns out they may have been breaking a new bylaw that could see anyone feeding the bird's land a hefty find. This yard is normally like a haven for them. The Lejoies are sad this spring after 22 years of feeding the birds came to a stop at their West Windsor home. Purple finches, hummingbirds, you name it, we had it. The couple say a neighbor complained that their feeders were making a mess on the ground and from above. Saying, uh, we want you to move your feeders to the backyard. And I said, well, no, we don't have windows in our backyard. So how can we see the birds? Lajoie says he suffers from major depression and anxiety, telling CTV News he's medication refractive, meaning he can't take pills, explaining that watching the birds in his front yard brings the peace he needs. You wouldn't believe what that does to how it make you feel on a bad day. But that didn't stop a call to the city that brought out officials saying take the feeders down. We were devastated. I was, I was in shock. Like it, these are supposed to be friends. So the city does have a, a bylaw uh, that prevents uh, the public from keeping food on their yard that will attract wildlife and rodents. City of Windsor License Commissioner Craig Robertson says feeding songbirds is fine so long as it's from a feeder that doesn't make a mess. You can't uh, just sp sprinkle food on the ground. You can't have bowls or containers of food uh, in the yard. Uh, if that is the case and we get a complaint, our bylaw enforcement officers will go out and assess the situation. Robertson says it's a newer bylaw passed in 2021, aimed to curb rodents like rats, saying education is key, but that fines for repeat offenders could reach $5,000. If we found a bird feeder that you could put seed in and it didn't drop to the ground, that would be fine. But there is no such thing. The pair say it's not fair, planning to put up a fence in the meantime. You know, as they say... Good fences make better neighbors. CTV News reached out to the neighbors in question who declined to comment on camera. Chris Campbell, CTV News.